Hey guys, we've got an applications of calculus question today, specifically integration, and what we've been asked is to find the exact volume of rotation caused by rotating about the y-axis the part of the curve y equals x squared take 3 that lies between the x-axis and the line y equals 12. So what we've been asked to do is we've been asked to find the area that exists between the x-axis y equals 12 and the curve. So we've been asked to find this area in here and then rotate it around the y-axis. So let me just draw that as well and rotate it around the y-axis. And for our own benefit, I've given us a little formula which we're going to use, base our sort of working out on. The volume is equal to pi times the integral of the function in terms of y squared dy. All right, so let's apply this. Now, what we've got at the moment is we've got a function in terms of x. So what we have to do is we have to rearrange this so it's x in terms of y. So what we get is we're going to take the 3 to the other side and we've got x squared is equal to a y plus 3. And then we take the square root of each side. So we're just left with x is equal to y plus 3, the power of a half. So that's the square root. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert this formula into our volume of rotation and we're going to take the volume from y equals 0 to y equals 12. So our volume is going to be equal to pi times the integral from 0 to 12 of our function which is y plus 3 the half all squared dy. Now we can fix this up a bit, we can take the squared into the bracket, we can at times half by 2 and we, they will basically cancel each other out. So we've left with the volume is equal to pi times the integral from 0 to 12 of y plus 3 dy. So what we do is we take our integral now. So this is equal to pi times by y squared over 2 plus 3y evaluated between 0 and 12. Cool. So therefore the volume is going to be equal to put 12 into our function, we've got 144 on 2, which is 72, plus 36, oh, hang on a sec guys, forgot to put my pi out the front, pi times 72, plus 36, and then we're going to be taking 0 plus 0, so take 0, and this is equal to 108 times pi. So there's our exact value. We'll give it in sort of some kind of units. Cubed. And then what we could do is we could make an approximation. Volume is approximately equal to 339.3. Units cubed. Cool. So, wasn't a very difficult problem, guys, because of the fact that the squared in our volume equation cancelled out the uh, the power of a half. But once you've done that, if you understand how to integrate and then substitute in, if there, you know, if there's no silly mistakes occurring between here and here, then you should come out with the right answer. I think people watching this video hopefully are just looking for a quick sort of rehash on the method, but you know, it's not very complicated guys. Um, so I hope this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos almost every single day, but until next time guys, I'll uh, keep enjoying your maths and I'll see you soon.